Calling the Board of Selectmen meeting to order October 5th at 7 p.m. We have a quorum here with one missing, but maybe late. Uh, Peter, you're, uh, you're on mute, but do you have any announcements? Uh, no announcements. Okay. Uh, meeting minutes, we have two sets of meeting minutes. Did everybody have a chance to read through those? So I'll look for a motion on um, meeting minutes for September 8th. Can you guys hear me? Well, I said I wasn't going to talk too much tonight, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll have to. Um, I make a motion to accept the. I can only do one. Um, yep, me, me as well. Okay, so um, I make a motion to accept the meeting of Tuesday, September 8th. Okay, looking for a second. I'll second that. All right, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so I'm going to um, suggest we pass on September 21st since we don't have the three members here that were at that meeting. So we'll punt those until the next meeting. All right. Correspondence? None. Do we have any correspondence? No. Okay. Uh, we don't have the Board of Health on, but I just want to make an announcement on the um, behalf of the Board of Health. There will be a flu clinic at the Senior Center on October 29th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. for ages six years and older. You must um, make a reservation essentially by calling 508-883-3523. That's 508-883-3523 for a flu clinic at the Senior Center, Monday, October, 20, October 19th, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Yep, okay. So it's Monday the 19th, one to three. Thank you, Peter. Or make an appointment. Yep. yep, by calling the phone number. So we have an election warrant um, here That's right. for so November 3rd. So you have to, move to uh, uh, approve it, which is just a mm -hmm. basic thing. And then you got to come in and sign seven versions uh, this week. Right. So looking for a motion to accept um, November 3rd, 2020 election warrant. I'll we'll make a motion to uh, accept the uh, November 2020 election warrant. Okay, looking for a second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, four zero. Perfect. So please get down to the um, town hall this week and sign the seven copies. Um, selection of a CMRPC alternate. Yeah, so we'll table that uh, just waiting for the planning board's recommendation of an alternate. They uh, provide the, the uh, official um, uh, liaison or uh, member and secondarily they suggest an alternate typically from the planning board. So they don't have that okay. back from the planning board here yet. Okay, so we'll punt right. that as well. Okay, uh, review. Uh, old business, review a special town meeting, which went wonderfully on Saturday. We had perfect weather. The meeting went well. Um, it was nicely planned, nicely run. Um, all articles on the warrant were passed. Um, I don't know if anybody wanted to add anything else besides what I've just put out there. We had great weather. We did, we did, and that always makes it that much easier. All right. well, it was good to see, just from my perspective, good to see how well it was pulled together. The tents went up nicely. The you know physical space was well done. The audio visual was great. And uh, what it real, one of the things that re the real takeaway was how everybody there wore their masks, even in spite of you know socially distant and all that. So people mm -hmm. did a great job. Here. Yeah, I was slightly concerned at the beginning when we had just over, we got over just over the 40 uh, quorum. We had 49, I believe. So um, that was my only concern, but we made it over the number. So we were good. So. Yep. Okay. The next item we have is consideration of an HCA agreement with uh, Lifted Luxury Inc. 
And I believe uh, we have Kathy Hinault in, in from uh, Lifted. Right, so you've, <clears throat> you've seen the business plan, you've seen the draft and I resent it again, or the uh, agreement with the terms that have been, you know, all, the town is happy with the terms as uh, written in the agreement, as is, uh, not speaking for Cassie, but they also are uh, happy with that. Uh, we had some things that she was following up on that we're satisfied with. So it's good to go. And mm -hmm. uh, I think the question is to the extent you move to approve uh, entering into this host community agreement with Lifted Luxury, you may want to also authorize that the chair be the signatory. Mm -hmm. uh, it has space for all selectmen to sign, but I think in this situation, uh, if you do the motion and the vote on this, uh, this evening, it's uh, memorialized that the chair will sign that. Yeah, that's fine by me either way. Um, did anybody have any questions? I know we've been bouncing this contract back and forth for some items over the past couple mm -hmm. of months. I think we finally are getting to the goal line here on this um, contract. We had some concerns that were settled this week. Um, Peter, I believe you sent an email out today, uh, the yes. main concerns that we had, and I feel comfortable um, based on what our council has said. So I am comfortable with this. I'm looking to see if anybody else has questions or concerns. I believe Cassie also held uh, just a neighborhood type of a, I think she had mailed things out to all the uh, low, the abutters and so forth and met with mm -hmm. some folks last week. Uh, I'm sure if you want, she could give you a brief update of that, but it sounded like it was a good session for her. In the sure. sure. If you, Cassie, if you want to give us a little overview of a little bit of field work you did and what type of reception you got from residents. Hi, how are you guys? Can you hear Very me okay? Well. I can hear you. And I'm loving all your football references, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we had a great meeting uh, last Wednesday at the actual building on Prospect Street. And uh, it was really nice to see a lot of the neighbors show up. And um, I was trying to field questions and their questions were welcome to the neighborhood. So it felt really good to have them there. Um, I would say probably like 10, 15 people showed up from the neighborhood. It was great. Okay. How many residents did you reach out to to invite to this? Um, uh, so uh, the abutters list is, I, I believe, for both properties 10 and 18, we sent about 37 letters. Well, good. Good turnout. Yeah, it was a nice turnout. Uh, that comments? also is uh, recorded and it's on YouTube if anyone wants to watch it. And you're right. You asked for questions and you didn't get any. So you did well. Thank you. We're really thank excited. Well, Actually, thank you for going back and forth with us so, so many times. I know that a lot of little things have come up here and there. And um, thank you for getting it resolved um, for our request in a timely manner. No problem, not at all. Uh, sorry that it's taken us so long. We started presenting years ago to you guys, so it feels it feels good to finally be here. Yeah, good. Any other questions, comments, concerns from the board? Okay. Somebody, we, did somebody just say something? I was looking down. Yeah, I had one comment. Um, my my only comment would be I is I question the stability of this corporation. Or company at this mm -hmm. point. That's my only concern at the moment. Do you have a specific? Um, Just the change of example? the change of the plans over the years. I mean, when we first got it, it's nothing similar to what it was to what it is okay. today, and it's gone through many phases. And I just don't know if I feel completely comfortable with that type of instability in a corporation. Mm -hmm. Cassie, do you so want to speak to that? Yeah. Absolutely. So over the years, we've had a couple of different plans. And I think that right now with our, we had an investor walk away and then we were able to replace them with someone that is more invested in the project itself rather than just making money. So I think that like we, I'm more confident in this project right now than I ever have been. Um, we're ready. Our, our application is ready. Our, we're ready to even transfer all of the funds that we have into our business bank account you know, we're invested into this project and we know that it's going to work. Well, Cassie, I appreciate the um, transparency you had with us because there, there were times where you couldn't have yeah. told us certain changes, but, and we wouldn't have known. So I appreciate your transparency right. on, on the changes and bringing those forth. No problem. 
is, Andrew, what do you think is going to happen? So let's say the business, let's, Cassie's not successful and the business fails. I mean, we would have the opportunity to invite another company into Millville. I guess what's, what's your big concern? Yeah, my main thing is, is that if you have a business that goes into a property, just because you have the opportunity to hire or um, ask for a new company to come in doesn't mean they'll use the same property. So that property that is getting, as I understand it, would be refurbished, would then be left vacant possibly again. Also, I don't know how wise it would be to allow a company to that has such a questionable, I mean, if you're investing in a company, which is what the town in essence has to kind of do, because it has to have faith in that company being around for the long haul, you have to see stability. You have to see a plan that can be carried over year after year, not change every year because of every, and tons of investors, change, a couple investors changing, ownership change, models changing. That's a lot of m way too many changes in the only a few years. It's been what, two years? That's a lot of different things. And I just don't know. And that's just in the preliminary stages of planning. That's not even once they open. I mean, what happens when it opens? You know, would it be the same type of instability we have seen? I mean, usually when businesses open, small businesses open for the first couple of years, it's really tough. And a lot of them go under. And usually they have pretty stable plans that go forward. Um, with this, we don't see any stability. And you know, it's a big risk, I think. And it's a, possibly a liability. Yeah, I guess I don't see how it, because if it, say if the business failed, we would be where we are right now. Mm. Right? And upon signing the host agreement, we are just cutting you guys checks immediately every quarter until we're fully licensed. And then obviously our host agreement goes into full effect at that point. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously we're taking a huge risk, This, but I wouldn't be doing it. We didn't pull the trigger before because we weren't ready. You know what I mean? Sometimes it was, you know, the town was putting the hold on it and sometimes it was us. And then a pandemic happened. So like, mm -hmm. I'm so confident in this project. I have no hesitations. Like if you could tell me I could open tomorrow, like we would be open tomorrow, but you know, I, I have to go through the process and you know, I think, I think that there's no way that this can fail. Like, I know in my heart, there's no way this can fail. Well, I've had the opportunity to meet with uh, one or more other applicants or interested parties trying to do a retail operation. The uh, uniqueness of uh, lifted luxury here, Cassie's been the mainstay of all of these iterations of her corporate structures and uh, relationships. But, um, what you have is expertise in the grow part of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that aspect, I think one of the things that stood out in what Cassie's represented to us is, and she's proven, and you, you asked her a question about the details of, I don't know, stuff I wasn't familiar with, but she has the knowledge of the product. And it's all about product. And it's also, also part of presentation. And we've seen some of that retail, you know, um, it's, it's, uh, Retail theater is also part of it. I have been in retail and, you know, they've got a good game plan in terms of, um, you know, the retail operation from what I can tell. So uh, the other part is I think that <clears throat> you really can't uh, get too much greater information on anybody in terms of their financial strength beyond the types of uh, strength that Cassie's represented to us here. So, you know, it is a, a lengthy process. She's got a good uh, facility agreement in force, um, good location for the town. All of, all of the, you know, all of the key pieces are there. Um, and we ruled out what I thought was the greatest risk, which was, you know, legal. Uh, we, that's been resolved in the last week. So, uh, you, know, you know, some other, uh, one other community that I'm familiar with that has been looking at retail, talking to their town administrator, They'll sign host agreements with anybody, and they, you know, even though they only offer a limited number uh, by their bylaws to have, you know, limited number of retail operations, they go on and sign host agreements. And the first ones to get through the process with the Cannabis Control Commission win. Well, you know, that's a horrible way to do business. Mm -hmm. in my view. So, I, don't so know. I, I, yeah, I would agree with Peter's points, and I would also add by not. 
um, signing this agreement, you're putting the town at risk of losing revenue. By signing it, <clears throat> we're taking a gamble on a company that may flourish or may not, but by not signing a host agreement with somebody, we're gonna just be pushing it off and losing revenue. So I'm comfortable with this agreement. I agree. What, what, one counter is that I feel like we're putting a lot of our hopes and dreams into these making everything we want and hope and making tons of money for the town. And that's not something we should ever even consider. I mean, that's that's foolhardy in my opinion, but I just don't think that this is a very stable thing. And I don't think that we should You don't go give the group go ahead to somebody who's so shown such miscomings and shortcomings. Well, that's your opinion. I don't. She's overcome those. This miss uh, the shortcomings in all start startup type of companies. And if you can get through that part, I believe you deserve a chance. And I think they've done a very good job with presenting the data to us. Um, and we don't know if it's going to create a lot of revenue or a little revenue, but it's revenue we need. I'd just like to add that it's no financial investment for us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's financial right. gain. And, um, you know, the townspeople have spoken. They don't want an override. They want businesses. They want revenue. Right now, this is the big revenue. This is the big thing. So you can't say, I don't want an override, but I don't want business because we can't survive. And we know that. Well, one thing is everything costs something. There's no such thing as a free lunch. So the town is incurring some expenses, regardless of how much it might be. And that is wasted time or wasted resources or whatever on something. And that's what I don't want to, I want to avoid at all costs, mm -hmm. first off. Second off, yes, I, we, we should have businesses, but we shouldn't just allow any business to come into the town just because they show us a plan and we say, oh, okay, yeah, go for it. I mean, we should kind of see if these plant companies have potential to stay and or longevity of any sort you know if they don't then you're not gonna you shouldn't allow them. I mean, we and not I find marijuana retail with a 10-year history anywhere around here you're just not going to find it no it's right now and it's a risk and i think it's a risk the town wants to take and should take okay any other questions comments concerns at this point I'm looking for a motion Consideration of the HCA agreement with Lifted Luxury Inc. I will make a motion to accept the HCA agreement with Lifted Luxury Inc. Looking for a second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Did you, did you want to make it so where the, to amend it briefly just to where the chair signs it on behalf of the board? Oh, yes. And I will amend my motion that Thank you. Um, so that's. Erica Blake can sign on behalf of the Board of Selection. I second the amendment change. Okay, thank you, Peter. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Was that an aye, Andrew? Yes. So five zero. All right, thank you. Um, I'm Congratulations, Cassie. We'll, we'll uh, be working together soon. Right. Thank so you all very much. We'll have the chair sign two <laughs> copies and then connect with Cassie for, for awesome. exit through 12. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thanks, Cassie. Welcome. All right. Next Hello, item on the agenda. I'm sorry. What? Do you mind if we went back to 7A? I'm sorry. I was seven minutes late. We I had uh, to pick up a child. Okay. And, um, on the review of the special town meeting, because I know for articles 10 and 11, when we read the motions, we didn't put in the cap on spend. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we need to implement a policy change or anything like that to ensure that we don't go beyond the 7,000 for the senior tax program and the 3,000 for the veteran tax program. Yeah. So I believe that the um, board of selectmen are the rule makers on that particular mm -hmm. article. Um, and was the article was written in the warrant with the 7,000, but the motion was read without it, correct? Right, exactly. So in that sense, what would take precedent? That would be what the article that was read. Is that correct, Peter? Well, the motion was really, and you know, it's a motion that was reviewed by council, of course. I need their help on a handful of the motions. Those two in particular, also the uh, road adoption, and also the precise wording for the way we did the uh, budget changes. Um, and so in that, you know, you, the town is adopting 
the statute. And that's really what the motion is doing. Uh, the, the, the local rules are determined by the local body, basically. And fundamentally, the amounts are, you've already established the amount for the program of the seven and three. Um, and, you know, you can change that, presumably. That still has to go to the voters by way of it's part of the determination of the revenue or uh, use of uh, um, uh, uh, the overlay, basically, and uh, through abatements. Um, and then that falls through in the deficit, if you will, of the budget. So fundamentally, that's where that goes. But in any event, um, it was a throwaway line in terms of the motion of adopting the statute. So, so as we sit today, what is the rule? Is it just the, we have the, the article now saying we can do this, and then the Board of Selectmen put a cap on it annually? Is that what? Yeah, I think you would put it on annually. If you didn't, if you had it in there, you would limit yourself until another town meeting vote on that right. amount. And, you know, that's not necessarily practical. Right. So at this point in time, the Board of Selectmen uh, can make the limits. Um, I know we discussed the seven and three, and then going years ahead, we can change them as we wish. Okay. Yep. So should we make a motion then now to cap them for now at these limits? So we make, uh, and then if we want to, that way we can, and we can change it at a future meeting if we want to. Yeah, I think we can do that, and that's probably a better way, and I'm glad we don't have the limits in there. I think we should all keep in mind we agree to the 10000 in totality, but if we start weighing more so on the senior side and we have no veterans coming forward, then we as a board can shift that money over. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, and I, I think, frankly, uh, technically, you've already approved those limits by virtue of what you uh, put on the warrant. It isn't what mm -hmm. the motions were, again, but it is what you put on the motion. So you've already approved those amounts. Okay. Yep, I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want to go all, well, I know this is a kind of a trial and we'll see how it goes and I hope it goes well and we're in a position to expand the program. But if it doesn't go exactly how we want it, I just didn't yeah. want, I didn't want someone to say, well, you didn't vote on a limit so I can make this. Yeah. Fine. People are more likely to remember the words than the words that they heard. The words yes, they heard. No, I mean, it was exactly, so. and it was printed in the document. Erica, you and I saw that. At right. The yeah, and I, I mentioned it during the motion. I was like, "What happened here?" So. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So we're so this we don't need to do anything. Then the rules are seven thousand, three thousand, and we can change if things are successful or change if things are. Unsuccessful. Yeah, and I think it's probably a good idea that we revisit in six months, get a report on, okay, how many people have come forth, how much money have we used, I'd like to keep a tab on this. So if we decide to move the money between the two, we can. Okay, no, I think that's a great idea. It's a little more fluid, fluidness. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, back down to 7C, appointment considerations, consideration of the uh, treasurer collector reappointment. I think that's the only one we had for tonight. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. I think we've had um, quite a bit of discussion around this. Um, I am comfortable tonight with making a motion um, and Lisa's not on, on the line tonight. Um, so we wouldn't be able to go into executive session tonight if we, if we wanted her in the executive session. So I'm looking for a motion to um, reappoint Lisa LaRue for treasurer collector. I will make a motion to reappoint Lisa LaRue for town treasurer collector. Looking for a second. I need a motion. Did you second that, Kevin? Yes, I did. Okay, thanks. Sorry, you're cutting in and out, so. All right, any discussion? Maybe you want to amend it just to say for the period, you know, the oh, year ended period. June 30th. Thank you. Yeah. Peter, you're keeping a good tab on us tonight. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know when to jump in. No, that's fine. 63021 is the amendment we're looking for. So I will amend it until uh, the, July, uh, June 30th, 2021. Her, her appointment will expire on June 30th, 2021. Kevin, would you like to second that yes, amendment? Uh, I'll second that. Okay. Any discussion? <clears throat> okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Opposed? Aye. Nay. Opposed? Okay, 4-1. Thank you. 
Jesse, do we have anybody in a public forum that wants to uh, speak tonight? Are they all watching the Patriots? <laughs> we're all watching the Patriots. <laughs> all right. If anybody comes on the next few minutes and wants to uh, do a public forum, let me know, please. Anything from Selectman's reports? We don't have anybody specifically listed, but does anybody have anything? Um, Erica, can we just have a, a, a dipstick of the um, board? Um, a lot of people are talking about Halloween. I have no interest in bringing it to our board, and I wasn't sure if anyone else was. But I think it would settle some parents' minds and um, neighborhoods um, at ease if we're not going to take it up. Um, I think that's more of a public safety um, or uh, public safety and board of health issue at this time. I don't think it's a um, board of selectmen. I okay. think that we would we would we would take the input from the board of health and public safety. And if they wanted us to um, make okay. an announcement, um, I think that would be the best thing. But you know, things can change every week. I mean, we can say yes, let's do it, and then get a like an outburst or outbreak next week. So I mean, um, I don't know. If um, the public, uh, the Board of Health has said anything at any of their meetings making suggestions or? No, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I, attend, I, maybe I'll attend their next meeting and ask um, what, they're, um, what they're recommending at this stage. I know a lot of towns are just putting out whatever the state guidelines are at this point. Yeah. So I think we have uh, one more meeting before Halloween. Mm -hmm. Put something on the agenda to make an announcement if we have uh, an opinion at that point. But I think um, with this changing so rapidly, I think we're a little a uh, little early right now, but I will reach out to Board of Health Public Safety, see if they have recommendations and then we will have it on our agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Before you leave that uh, item or just to, would you wanna go back and do the September 21st minute? Uh, we can do that. So um, Slack McGill, you were not on when we did meeting minutes and it was you, Andrew and Kevin at that meeting. Um, so if one of you wanna make a, a motion to accept those meeting minutes. I'll make a motion to accept the meeting minutes for September 21st, 2020, and also to allow Erica Blake to sign on behalf of the board of selection. Got it all in that time, Peter. Yeah. You're learning <laughs> fast. <laughs> Any, um, okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 And just to mention, we didn't say for me to sign the September 8th meeting minutes, but I think at our previous meeting when we allowed me to sign meeting minutes, it was as long as we were on uh, virtual calls, I'd be signing the meeting minutes. So okay. we're good on that one. Anybody else for Selectman's reports? Peter, Town Administrator report. Okay, I'll give you six updates. How's that? Real quick in three minutes or less. <laughs> uh, the boiler tank is slated to go in this week um, <laughs> under the uh, original plan for the anchorings. Okay, so they're going to put in eight ballasts that were on each side. Uh, I'm sorry, four ballasts on each side. Um, we'll see how that works out. There's still a couple of questions uh, that have been put, that we put forth to the school um, regarding that. So we'll keep a close eye. Um, Here's Act. We're gonna. We're in process of uh, by the end of the month putting in a second round uh, request for some of the monies that are available to us, um, and it's really identifying and estimating what we would ask them to provide in advance for. So, you know, I've already started thinking about that. So that process is just opening up. There's another Zoom meeting with the state tomorrow. On. Um, we submitted a grant for assessor software and a server upgrade that would help support the software as well as it's time for a server upgrade. That's through the, uh, um, you know, the community uh, IT type of grant that we've uh, had available. So that went in last week and good help from Dave Manzello, our assessor. Um, I have requested and uh, the person was out uh, an extension to our audit, internal audit earmark. We've spent about 21 grand of that in the 30 grand thing. Um, so I just wanna see, make sure we can use the rest of it and I phrase my request uh, so that they, it'd be hard for them to refuse the request. So okay. Thank you. Um, had a kickoff for the green grant with uh, Trisha on there and uh, the state and our vendors who are doing the work. 
for, uh, again, a new heating system for the fire station, uh, lighting retrofit at, the, at Millville Elementary, and lighting retrofit at the police department to the tune of 122 grand worth of stock. So that all is going to start going forward here uh, very quickly. Uh, last thing, the audit, uh, there's a few items they're looking for from the treasurer. Um, it looks like that's the end of their uh, need for documentation. They did not give me a draft yet, but I expect that will be coming shortly once they get this uh, punch list of items taken care of. Okay, that's good. My report. That's it. Yep. Any questions for Peter on any of his items? Uh, yeah, one quick question on the audit. Uh, did they give you an ETA of when that to expect their yeah, final? Well, the original ETA of the draft was uh, this month, or last month, actually. So I should, we should see one, I hope, this month. I don't have an ETA yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we see one before we all grow old. Yeah, but again, there's no, uh, there are no major issues uh, that they've identified for the year that they're doing. And mm -hmm. frankly, they're going to roll into the next year. Peter, can you remind me what year they're auditing, please? 19. The year ended 6-30-19. <clears throat> but they had to broaden their scope a bit, given, you know, the world at large that Millville's facing. Um, they, they went back a little deeper into the fire period. All right. Any other uh, questions for Peter tonight? Do we have any items not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to this meeting that nope. we need to discuss? Nope. Okay, so I will sign the meeting minutes. I will sign the HCA agreement, and we will all go down and sign um, the, election the election warrant. Seven copies at some point this week. Our next regularly scheduled meeting is October 19th. Anybody um, have anything else? All right. Looking for somebody to uh, make a motion to adjourn. I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting at 7.32 p.m. All right. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Let's go watch the Pats win tonight. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse.